Welcome back to Burke's Recap. Back at it once again. We're hitting uh, part two of an album reaction. This is the band Boston. The album is called Don't Look Back. This is part two. Hopefully you join me for part one. If not, go in the description below. Click the link for part one. Check that out when they come back over and join us for part two. And when this one is over, you can go in the description again and go to the link for part three and jump over that, to that one. Also, the link to the original material will be in the description as well. Also, in the description is all my uh, social media links and information for PayPal and Venmo. If you want to donate, I definitely would appreciate that. I appreciate Stephen for donating and suggesting this. And um, if you donate, I'll react to anything you want me to. And uh, anyway, that's enough of my spiel. I just want to dive right in. Once again, a man I'll never be, Boston. Let's get to it. If I say what's on my mind. Slowing it up. In your dreams. It's so hard to be unkind. So easy just to say that everything is just the way it seems.
might be over. Almost. So there you have it. That is A Man I'll Never Be. It started out as kind of a, um, I thought it was going to be more of a ballad, but it definitely picked up. The guitars definitely picked up. I think this was the best vocal performance of any of the, of the other songs. And the guitars were right in there. Uh, nice solos, good guitar work. Um, that's the next song. We don't want to get there yet. Um, but yes, very, very good guitar work. And excellent excellent vocals for this one i think this is probably my favorite song on the album now knocking uh don't look back off its pedestal as my favorite so far uh we still got some more to go though so let's see Th that is the end of side one and we're going to start uh side two right now and then once we get through this song it's called uh feel unsatisfied once we're done with this one that'll be the end of our part two and then we'll finish up the album on part three but let's dive right in let's continue on here we go This one I get you moving.
All right, feeling satisfied. Uh, I picked up on the bass on that one quite a bit. Uh, the bass uh, stood out to me for whatever reason. I really just was able to pick it out and uh, right from the start, it kind of grabbed me. Um, overall, pretty pretty good song. I'd say it's probably like on the same level of it's easy for me. Um, that's going to do it for, for part two. So I'll get my final thoughts on the close. I have some thoughts on uh, Boston's most famous song, which is More Than a Feeling. Uh, but let's get into that in the close. So there you have it. That is part two. We have only one more part to go here. Part two of our album reaction here. Uh, a Man I'll Never Be, probably my favorite on the album. So part two is a winner for me, for sure. And I also like Feeling All Right. So there hasn't really been any uh, bad songs except for maybe number two, which wasn't really even a song. So I wouldn't uh, hold that against them. Um, that was uh, the journey. But anyway, um, I'm starting to understand uh, Boston's kind of sound, or at least their early sound. Um, their most favorite, um, most famous song is More Than a Feeling. And you can hear a little clip, of, not like little snippets of like hints towards that, that kind of a same sound and more than a feeling. I'm not saying that as a critique, but there are some similar guitar, definitely some guitar work that is very similar to More Than a Feeling that I definitely picked up on. Um, but, you know, that's, I, I'm kind of understanding now, I think that's more like their style more than anything, not necessarily um, more than a feeling, more than just the style of Boston, uh, the band. But anyway, yes, I do know more than a feeling. Obviously, that's their most famous one. Um, it's not on this one. I, I'm Maybe it was on their debut album. I'm not really sure when it came out. Uh, but I do enjoy that one. That one's very, very good. And I've enjoyed this one. This album, this entire album has been, has been excellent. Um, we have only one more part to go. It's going to start with a song called Party. And that's going to be the first one that's not written by, um, by Tom Schultz. Yeah, Schultz wrote, the, wrote all of them. The first one that that's co-written with Schultz and Brad Delp is Party. And then the second one that we'll have on part three is Used to Bad, uh, Used to Bad News. And that's written entirely by uh, Delp. So different writing credits for the, for the first two of part three. Hopefully you join me for part three. Make sure you jump in the description. Click on the link for part three. Join us over there. Can't wait for that. Uh, we'll be finishing up the album. Uh, I mentioned earlier about my information for uh, Venmo and PayPal for donating. It's also at the end of this video. You get the thanks button on YouTube. That's another way you could donate. And if you donate, like I said before, uh, I'll react to anything you want me to. Don't forget about my podcast as well, Perks Recap Podcast. We're doing some NFL content. We're having people on talking about some music as well. If you want to jump on and talk about music, that's another thing we can do. That would be really, really cool. Just let me know. Contact me either in the comments or or in an email and uh, we'll set up a time and a date for you to get on and i'll uh, talk about anything you want to but that's going to do it for this one i'm excited for part three can't wait to get there hopefully you join me over there until then i will see you later